Okay, let's go to your emails. You can email us through our website, uh, davidpackman.com. Also, lewis at davidpackman.com and natan at davidpackman.com. They both have their own email addresses now, uh, which they monitor on their own. On the topic of my so-called bowling shoes, Lauren sent me a message saying, for the record, I don't think your sneakers look like bowling shoes. They look rather nice, in fact. Uh, Perry sent me a message saying that they're cool, and not everybody agrees, though. And it's, it's, mostly, it's mostly men, I think, Lewis, who don't like the shoes. And uh, I'm not wearing them today or I'd show them again, but I'm not surprised. And you know what? What do I care what random dudes on YouTube and Lewis think about my shoes? I think, I think the general consensus was that if they're comfortable, whatever, that's fine. But I, I think it was split down the middle that 50% of people agree with me that they look like bowling shoes. Okay. Uh, do you even know what bowling shoes look like? I've worn them, yes. Okay. Those shoes are ugly. They kind of look like bowling shoes. Better off getting some... I'm not even going to mention. They're mentioning a, a, a brand that has very, very bad... Uh, labor labor relations history, but I should get some sneakers made by another brand. If they're comfortable, whatever. Somebody else saying it is a bowling shoe. Thank goodness it's comfortable at least. Okay. Whatever. I'm going to keep wearing them. Uh, animal suicide. I saw on Animal Planet where a female elephant was killing and eating villagers who killed her baby. The men even believed she was hunting them. Now this doesn't prove anything, but if elephants can feel concern for a herd member trapped in mud pools, mourn their dead, they probably could commit suicide also. It's not that far-fetched. And in order to commit suicide, you need to be able to contemplate the future. I don't think animals can do that. What do you think of that? Uh, I really couldn't tell you, but it's not a bad point. And on the topic of Mitt Romney converting his dead father-in-law to Mormonism, one person sending me a message on Twitter saying, calling it a conversion is in and of itself sickeningly biased. Okay. Uh, I... I, I can't even think of a response to that. It, it seems like it's what it is. It's a baptism. It's it's. Uh, they then appear on the rolls of those who are, uh, are, are, are. They're on the Mormon rolls. What can I say? Seems like a semantic argument. Right. And my best friend in high school was a Mormon. Each year, he and his family engaged in baptisms for the dead. They would rebaptize themselves on a dead person's behalf. Sometimes it was a long lost Gentile relative. Sometimes an unnamed stranger. They believed the dead saw the light in the afterlife but could only receive the glories of heaven through vicarious baptism. Laughable theology aside, this is disrespectful to the memory of the dead. I agree with that. It is disrespectful. Definitely. I think that's, that's, that's the major problem here. On the bonus show today, what will we be talking about? Bitter cold records in Alaska? Of course, this makes people say, hey, global warming is not only not a problem, we need to not even worry about what we're doing to this planet. We'll go through the logic of that. We'll also look at what is the biggest downfall of each state in the United States? Some are kind of obvious, some aren't. Massachusetts, known for the worst drivers. Uh, I, have to, I have to agree with that. And a Taco Bell salmonella outbreak. We'll hear from Lewis. When was the last time he ate at Taco Bell? DavidPackman.com slash birthday. See you in a few days. The David Pakman Show at DavidPackman.com.